The idea, this is by the way the fifth New Europe Business Forum that we are organizing and the idea behind the event was to uh, gather in Croatia, in Zagreb, once a year uh, interesting people from all over the world, from different uh, spheres and domains, so from uh, uh, business, entrepreneurship, politics, uh, science, so uh, we were not picky in that respect. What we wanted was to bring interesting people to Croatia and uh, I'm happy to say that I believe that we achieved that over the past five years and this year is no exception. This is the third conference in a row that I've attended, so three years, uh, and I come because I enjoy it. I think Mato and the team do a fantastic job. I, I love to talk to the students. I love to hear what they're interested in, um, and I love to meet the other speakers. So it's always a good experience, and I'm sure this year will be exactly the same. It's a very eclectic, interesting mix of uh, people, of different people, of entrepreneurs, of uh, business people or people from civil society, academics like me, and uh, that's a very refreshing mix of ideas and it's not just people who talk about making wealth, it's people who are actually like me, it's people who actually do make wealth. It was a great honor to be speaking at the New Europe Business Forum in uh, Zagreb and I really appreciated the opportunity to share our views on the Eurozone and also Croatia and the rest of the region. This is my first time at the New York Business Forum. When I first came, Mato promised that it would be great conversation and really interesting people. And on that score, I think he has more than delivered. This has been a fantastic experience meeting all the people here. So when I got the call to come back to the New Europe Business Forum, it was a no-brainer to come because I just remember last year how impressed I was with not only the forum itself, the people that run it, the students that were here, the ambition everyone had, just the energy in, in the air, the questions that people asked me, and really, honestly, the fun I had at night, at the dinners and all the events. So for me, I, it was a no-brainer to come back. I'd come back again in the future, and if anybody else were thinking about coming, I would strongly recommend coming. I, this is my third year here at New Year Business Forum. The first two years I was part of the organization, and this year I decided to come more as a student to learn a bit more about it. I think this is a great event that accomplishes a lot of different things, including great networking and meeting different um, people from all around the world and having engaging conversations with different um, speakers and uh, professionals. I think it's a great opportunity for students to come here and learn a bit more about Europe, business in the world and uh, all those things. I'm studying in uh, Finland. My expert station is uh, international business. And the reason why I apply for this uh, forum is because uh, it's related to my study, my subject uh, for international business. But also, I want to know more about the uh, uh, business and as well as the entrepreneurship perspective. And my expectation in here, like, uh, I want to know uh, how people they start up a new business in European countries and I, I hope that I can find that in, in this forum. And I think it's, uh, it's kind of a really big forum and a really nice idea to uh, like uh, give a, a pro new and budding entrepreneur an opportunity to come up with uh, new thoughts and, and new ideas on the uh, with the business and stuff like that and considering uh, Zagreb as a uh, very like important uh, place in the European market it's uh, considered to be this is my second time in Zagreb so I really like love the city as well and unfortunately I couldn't make it to uh, New York business home last time but I'm really excited to be here this time and I'm looking forward to the agenda tomorrow as well. New York Business Forum because it will give me a glimpse into how entrepreneurship is organized and how it works throughout the world but also in Croatia because the Croatian market is so similar to the market of my country in Bosnia and Herzegovina and I'm happy to see that uh, entrepreneurs can succeed if they work hard enough especially given the very high level of pessimism that exists in my country so I want to get those high spirits and to see that it is uh, the success 
at the, at the end of a very long path to that.